what we realized is, is really what was missing was this kind of really fast, really high volume, but really safe and ubiquitous modality for moving things through cities. That's the CEO of a company called Pipe Dream Labs. And that pipe dream isn't exactly that of playing for the NFL, starring in a Broadway show, or holding out hope that we're gonna get another season of Twin Peaks. It's a literal pipe dream of an underground autonomous robotic delivery system. This here is a little robotic delivery vehicle making its way through one of the company's labs. And yes, Mario, our CEO here says the idea idea for the subterranean system was influenced by underground infrastructure like pipes. As we were talking to, to cities and companies, we realized there's already a really great model for this mass distribution of things through cities. If you think about water or electricity or even uh, sewage is kind of a weird one to think about, but it is, it's, it's moving things uh, through cities. And we started pipe when we realized, you know, we, we could really borrow from um, a, a lot of the wisdom that has been created, a lot of the learnings that has uh, been learned from putting underground pipe in cities. Now the concept of using tech to obscure the mechanisms of delivery is nothing new. Pneumatic tubes were once all the rage. Zipping letters around offices in an age where receiving spam in your mail meant shooting a slab of meat onto your desk. While that tech isn't entirely dead, Marketplace just reported on a guy who runs a weed dispensary out of an old bank in New Jersey that uses pneumatic tubes to shoot edibles straight to your car. This pipe dream company in many ways is a higher tech version of that, with its website promoting an instant pickup feature that automates parking lot deliveries at places like grocery stores and fast food joints. Not only does the company say this can help contribute to errorless delivery, actually going for that triple cheeseburger might be a long-term mistake, but at least it'll be made correctly. Last May, Pipe Dream spewed out a partnership with Wendy herself, testing out an underground food system to get stuff to drivers in designated parking spots. You know, right now we're, we're working on uh, layouts for people doing automated curbside. So going from, you know, inside a grocery store to out in a parking lot, you know, going from warehouse to warehouse, outside a city, from inside a warehouse to uh, farther into the city. That's the best way to, to, to think about it. So um, now that we've, we've proven we can do it and um, we've proven that, that we can do it efficiently, now we're going and um, starting other projects in, in other cities for, for other businesses. Now, even though underground food delivery might conjure up images of a black market Grubhub guy trying to pawn off old mismatched slices of Chuck E. Cheese pizza, a conspiracy that the rat himself has worked very hard to debunk over the years, the concept of a concealed congealed meal in motion is literally taking off at the Curiosity Lab in the smart city of Peachtree Corners, Georgia, as observed here by the city manager. He recognized that and said, you know what we might be able to do is to take our public, take a large area of our city that happens to be a technology and research park already, take all the public roads inside of this technology park and turn it into a living laboratory. So a shopping center is linked to this curiosity lab from a mile away. And members of the lab can order on-demand food and convenience items through an app during peak lunch hours, which then get roboted through an underground system of tunnels only to emerge through a little drawer like this back at the lab. Baja blast and all. But again, the pipe dream here isn't just to ensure that your cheesy gordita crunch lives up to its name. Sustainability plays a role here too. Every single delivery that is happening is potentially taking a car trip and removing it. And you know, that's congestion, that's, you know, emissions. Yeah. The wet bulbs over at the Environmental Protection Agency note that emissions from transportation make up around 28% of greenhouse gas emissions in the US. And Pipe Dream says this tech might help you drive less, and maybe even one day offer home delivery infrastructure that finally casts porch pirates out to sea for good. Now having Wendy shoot sweet and sour sauce through a tube a mile away over to your house so you can fulfill your nugget's destiny might seem like a concept that's a ways away, but it's worth pointing out that businesses work really hard to pull off last mile delivery. That is is the final step in fulfilling an order to a given destination. And even though today we might be more accustomed to delivery vans, delivery bikes, and uh, delivery drones, perhaps in the not so distant future, you'll be keeping your ear to the ground to figure out when that pizza is finally gonna arrive.